boys and girls, as always, it's lovely to see you. How are you? Have you had any jam this week? I have been enjoying my apricot jam. I even gave some to Barnaby and he liked it. Barn, did you enjoy your jam? Oh, the jam was great, Tash. Awesome. Well, remember last week we learned about jam because we were thinking about preservation. God preserved Jacob's family. They didn't die from the famine in Egypt. God keeps his promises. Well, today we are talking about hope. Jacob's hope was in the future promises of God. Hope. Hope is looking forward to something with confidence. I hope I will see my family one day soon. As some of you would know, my mum and dad live in Sydney, Australia. It takes a very long time to fly to Australia. But unfortunately, because of COVID, I haven't seen my family in over a whole year. It makes me very, very sad. But I look forward with hope to one day seeing my family again when the virus is over. I will see my family again when I fly over to Sydney when the COVID virus is over. I have hope. Hope is what we're talking about today. Hope. You see, Jacob had hope. Remember, God made three promises to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. He promised a land to live in. He promised offspring, lots and lots of children, and he promised blessing. And guess what? Some of those promises had already come true. Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob already had lots and lots of children. Remember, 70 people moved down to Egypt with Jacob. 70 people! Jacob's family was really large. And secondly, they were blessed. In fact, all of the nations were blessed through Joseph. Remember, all the people came to Joseph to get food. And Joseph was a blessing to everyone. You see, God keeps his promises. But one promise hadn't come true yet. They did not have their own land. Israel was living in Egypt because of the famine. Canaan was the land God promised to Abraham and his descendants. And Jacob's hope was in the future promises of God. Jacob trusted God and he knew that the Israelites would live in Egypt one day because God would take them back to live in the land of promise in Canaan. So Jacob made Joseph bury him in the land of promise. Jacob's hope was in the future promises of God. And do you know what? Our hope is in the future promises of God too. We know that God's promises really, really do come true. All of God's promises are yes in Jesus, even the ones God promised in the future. Just like Jacob, we have hope in the future promises of God. God promised Abraham and his descendants a new land, the land of promise in Canaan. Egypt was not their home. And God promises a new land to us as well if we trust and obey Jesus, the promised city of heaven where there is no more crying or death or pain. This world now here on earth is not our home. We look forward to living with God in heaven forever. We have hope in the future promises of God because they are all yes in Jesus. And we look forward to our new home in heaven. Joseph. Clap, 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 clap. God keeps his promises. God has a plan to protect and save Jacob's family through one man, despite the evil deeds of men, down to Egypt. But God was always still with him, put in prison. But God was always still with him, raised to rule, to protect and save Jacob's family, raised to rule, to protect and save Jacob's family. Nice to see you, everyone. Remember, we have hope in the future promises of God, and we look forward to living with God in heaven forever. Bye.